Today we're changing the seal kit on a groundhog. Uh, the part number is DH-A-26. Uh, your seal kit is going to include the pack of, seal, the pack of seals uh, and all the bolts to hold it in, instructions, and a new power shaft. So the first thing we're going to do is take the hydraulic motor plate off. Um, we're going to take out the four bolts to hold it in one and bring the whole uh, motor and everything off at once. Uh, but before that, we will need to take the end cap off and pull the auger off the power shaft. We're going to use 9 16 wrench and socket, uh, remove the bolts and pull the motor, the, uh, motor plate off. I'm going to set this on the stool. I've got my line still hooked up to the cylinder uh, at the shut off in the front of the machine. And as you can see, the power shaft stayed in with the seal kit, which uh, it could be worn into the, the seals itself, uh, but we're replacing the power shaft. If that does not pull out right away, that's fine. It'll go uh, with the seal kit. You will need someone to help you. Uh, the bolts are from the inside of the hopper out. So I'm gonna get someone in here to help me here. Take the half inch socket. He's gonna loosen the bolts and we'll take this out. Yep. Okay. One right below. Go ahead. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yep. Now all these seals will come off, just like that, or they may come off individual, uh, but we're going to replace all these with the new ones. As this is a new machine, um, I'm going to go ahead and reuse these same bolts, but the bolts do come in the seal kit. Uh, one thing we do um, is we put some silicone around this outside of the hopper. Uh, on the first plate to seal so it does not leak in between the hopper and the seal kit itself. So. So uh, if everything comes stacked as it goes back in the machine, the first plate that goes against the hopper uh, will have a flat on it. Some of the older hoppers was designed to where that has to go up, but for the current um, hoppers we have, it's a flat back, so I'm going to put that down. Then the first rubber seal uh, has the bolt holes and it has a grease fitting hole. The first one, that grease fitting hole is going to go down and the rest of them will go up. What that does is allows the grease to come into this last seal and then it goes down to the shaft instead of leaking straight into the plate. The next plate has a notch in it for the grease, it'll line up It'll be straight up. The next seal, the grease fitting hole is going to be up.
another plate with a notch in it. Notch goes up. Another rubber seal. The hole goes up. And then we have our outside plate with the grease fitting. The grease fitting is going to be up. And then the nuts. Now we have the power shaft. Um, I'm going to put some never seize on the shaft of this motor for the next time I change this. It'll be easier to, come, to get it off. these bolts up. I'm holding that up uh, to motor plate flush with the top of that mount. Now I've got that tight, we're ready to tighten the nuts on the seal kit itself. I'm going to tighten these just to where the bolt comes through the nylon of the nut. Um, you don't want to get these too tight. Yeah. Good, good. Go easy. Top one. Good. Bottom one. Good. Good. Go, I wasn't on it. No more. Good. Now, when we grease it, uh, we're going to pump grease in it until we see some grease come on the inside of the hopper. And we're 
we're good to go. Uh, put your lines back on and you're ready to go. Uh, the seal kit is the same for most of the groundhogs. Uh, this is a GH75. The GP875 is the same setup. Uh, we also have the uphill model. Uh, we have one sitting here. Uh, the seal kit is here. Um, there's a, a guard that covers this. You have to um, flip the machine up in the clean up position. And then you're doing the same thing. You're taking the motor plate off with the, with the four bolts here. And it's the same way of changing the seal kit on the uphill.